Hey guys, I'm Nicole Harry DIY and I'm going to show you how to replace a screen door locking handle. If you've never been here before, hello. Uh, I do all sorts of DIY things on this channel, fixing things, making things, building things, anything creative. So if that's what you like watching, do consider subscribing. All right, let's fix this baby. First, we're going to take off these two screws on the inside of the door. Now, you might have little plastic caps covering these. Just pry those off with a butter knife. You should also make sure your door is open at this stage. Don't leave it closed like I did. If you forget or your door is actually broken and you can't undo it, just grab a wrench and turn this bar to open the door. Now we take the other side of the handle off. And at this point, we need to deadbolt the door. Please just ignore the fact that I've taken the cover plate off here. I did this in the wrong order. Now you want to push the little button in so that the larger bar comes out, then deadbolt the door. So clicking all the way around, then take out the middle screw here before pulling out the key barrel. Then just take off the other two screws of the cover plate and pull out the bar in the center. And then you can take out that full inner mechanism. Put all of the parts from your old lock into a container, making sure you keep all of the screws because you might need those later. Now bring that to the store with you so that you can find the appropriate replacement handle lock. Now my lock was a Whitco, so they didn't have any in stock. So I'm looking at the alternatives here. So what I'm wanting is the screw holes to line up as well as the barrel locking mechanism. Now I found this one that says it actually replaces a Whitco and you can see this is the exact same lock. So I'm gonna grab this one. I bought this one from Bunnings Warehouse and it was $80.86. So here's everything that the package comes with. So we've got our inside door handle and our outside door handle. It's important to make sure you mount this one on the inside because this has the privacy lock. We've got our locking barrel, we've got our bolt, and we've got our strike plate, we've got some keys and we've got some screws and some instructions. You can throw those away because we're doing that right now. So the first thing to make sure is that your big bolt is fully out in this position. If it's not, you may need to assemble sort of these before putting it in because they say that the warranty is void if you put the door on, but this isn't in this exact position. All right, we are going to attach this piece first. And we're gonna be using these two little 12 millimeter screws to attach it. Okay, now try and remember which way your plate was facing last time. If it was put in correctly, the logo should be the right way up. Sometimes people put them in upside down in the first place. So just try and remember how that was actually done. Mine was done correctly. And we just need to lift that a little tiny bit. Get that started. Mm. Okay, first problem encountered. The screw holes are too big for these new screws. But don't panic, that's why we kept all the parts from the previous lock. Then what you can do is grab the screws from the previous lock. And I can see here that these are much thicker threads and that's why these ones aren't going in. So I'm just gonna use these ones instead. There we go, perfect fit now. Okay, next we're going to grab our cylinder lock and the 32mm screw or the longer screw, whichever one it says in the instructions really. And we want to make sure that this pin that rolls down like this is pointing towards the strike plate. So not this way, it's got to point this way. Bring that into the middle and we're going to pop this in. Now you don't want to over tighten this screw, just get it just softly hand tight and that's nice and tight there. Next up we are going to insert the rod into this section where there is like a plus sign. Let's just pop that in there. Now I need to figure out which way I need this to close so let's go inside figure that out. Okay, so now we want to make sure that this is going to 
open in the right direction. So this is my door frame right here. So I need to put it in this direction. If your door handle is on the other side, you can put it in this direction. So I'm gonna start with it over here. And we wanna make sure that the little security switch is in a 45 degree position, not straight up or straight down or anything, 45 degrees. And I'm pointing it the same direction that my handle is. Now we can pop this on and then we're gonna grab the other side as well. And you'll feel you might need to move this a little bit to be able to get that to sit in nice and flush. And for the other side, we put our locking barrel hole at the bottom and we're also going to swing this one to the right direction. Then we can pop that on and it might take a little bit of force. When in doubt, give it a gentle tap. Alrighty. Now we're going to pop the two screws in here and that is these little ones. So they have a slightly domed head and they look like a bolt at the bottom rather than a screw. Pop that in a tiny bit and what I'm going to do is push on the other side. And they usually come with these little buttons, which you can just pop in here to hide those screws. Now we're going to unlock the door with the key. Okay, check that everything's working. Now if you're replacing this rather than installing it, you'll probably have a strike plate already there. So you can just check and see if this one is working and then you won't need to replace this. Yep, works perfectly. Now one thing that I've noticed is that this actually goes all the way through, which is not very safe. Okay, so if I shut this door, so this part won't actually be accessible uh, because it's sort of, it's above up here, okay? But if somebody were to stick a screwdriver up in here, that could potentially be able to get up in there and actually push that, which would then allow me to open the door. So if you've got this, or if somebody has chiseled this out in order to get to it, which they may have, because I'm seeing we have some other damage right here, which might be fresh, um, then you want to fill this up, okay? And I'm actually going to pop a couple of screws up in here um, to stop chisels being able to go through up in this high spot. And if it's nice and secure, yeah, can I lock it? Sure can, lock from the inside. And let's lock it from the front. Let's do one click to the right. That is locked. Now, these doors have a double locking mechanism. I'm sure you know this if you already have this door, but if we start from unlocked, if you do one click, it is locked and the people from inside can get out no problem. So if there's a fire, they can escape. But if you do a double lock, so the extra click, the people inside need the key to be able to get out. So keep that in mind that when you're leaving and there's people inside, you don't want to double lock it, okay? Now, if you do need to install this new strike plate, what you need to look for is this little line that runs along here, okay? And what that shows us is where the top of the strike plate needs to be. So if I show it in place, there we go. So in order to mark it, we're gonna close the door, not quite. Follow this line and put a mark here on your door frame. And then open your door and bring that line around to this side and then you'll know exactly where that strike plate needs to line up with. 
Thanks so much for watching everyone. If you found this helpful, please drop a comment below and a like, and do consider subscribing. All of these things really help my channel grow and then I can spend more time doing videos like this to help people out. Thanks so much guys, bye.